Hi, I'm Jerry, Jerry Mander, and I believe in three things. God, guns, and that Travis Kelsey likes it in the butthole. Taylor Swift is shown too many times during football games. Yep, call me old school, but back in my day, the only time they'd put a lady on the broadcast is so she could be sexually harassed by Joe Namath. That's my quarterback! This year, the real Americans won't be rooting for those liberal elites living out there in their socialist utopia. Hell no! We're rooting for San Francisco! Seems like someone better tell Kansas that us country folks don't like the city. Bet on it. And you're not gonna wanna hear this, but hold on to your red hats, folks. The Super Bowl halftime show has gone woke. And I know some of the libtards out there will say, Jerry, you probably can't even define woke. Why, sure I can. Woke equals whites officially canceled eternity. Who even is Usher? Why can't we get Hank Williams Jr., Kid Rock, and his midget? A hologram of Toby Keith. No, instead we've got a washed up pop star who will probably get his sixth booster shot on stage from a pregnant man with pink underarm hair. Well, not on my watch. Yep, if I was in charge of the Super Bowl halftime show, it'd be nothing but Bald Eagle screeching the tune of God Bless the USA by Lee Greenwood while World War II veterans did a flyover and Melania Trump performed a tasteful striptease. That my country. So if you think Lamar Jackson should play running back and Aaron Rodgers should run for president, this November, remember, remember to cast your vote for Jerry Mander. I'm Jerry Mander and I approve this message and everything Brett Favre ever did.